Hello and welcome back to the channel and to my 2020 NHL Awards predictions. Today I'll be taking a look at the main categories for the NHL Awards and I'll be predicting who I think will win, who the nominees will be, and one dark horse. I'll probably come back to this list midway during the season to laugh at my predictions and to reevaluate them. And remember, these are just my opinions, so don't get too upset if I don't mention your favorite player. But let's get right into it and start off with the Hart Trophy. And for my Hart Trophy winner, I have Nathan McKinnon. He's just so, so important to that team, and he's the heart of that team, he's the heart of the best lag in hockey. And what separates McKinnon and McDavid, who I think will be the runner up, is that I think Colorado are making the playoffs. And making the playoffs always seems like an important criteria when the Hart Trophy winner is voted on. And like I mentioned, my runner-up is Connor McDavid and Sidney Crosby. Yeah, those are pretty boring predictions, but I think they're the three best players in the world. And if they all get to stay healthy, I think it's going to be super close, but I think McKinnon will just edge them. And for my dark horse, I have Alexander Barkov. He's a player that's been called the most underrated player in the league for a few seasons now, but he's really emerged as an elite player and is so, so important to that Panthers team. And I think if they want any success, he's the key to it. If he can replicate what he did last season, I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the discussion far into the season. For the Art Ross trophy, I have Connor McDavid. It's a safe and boring pick, but when you're as good as McDavid, you just have to go with it. I don't think the Oilers are making the playoffs, but we see what McDavid and Dreisel can do together. And I don't see McDavid slowing down at all. For my runner-ups, I have Nikita Kucherov and Nathan McKinnon. Tampa hasn't got significantly worse, and I don't see Kucherov getting any worse either. He's on the best team in the league, well on paper at least, and he shouldn't stop producing. McKinnon is my other runner-up, he's the driving force on the best line in hockey, and if he gets to stay injury-free, I don't think he'll have a problem reaching 100 points. Trying to predict the dark horse for Art Ross Trophy is probably the toughest out of all the awards because to me, the top 5 or so is already so set in stone, but I went with Mark Shifley. I wanted to go with a pick that could be a bit out of nowhere, and the forward group in Winnipeg is very good and Shifley has a big part in that. And for the Maurice Rocket Richard Trophy, this might be a bit unexpected, but I think John Tavares will be the league's top scorer. He was just 4 goals shy of Ovechkin who won it last season, and with the Leafs adding Tyson Berry along with already having Morgan Riley, the Leafs will be deadly both on 5 on 5 and especially on the power play, with Tavares being one of the main beneficiaries from that. For my runners up, I have Alex Ovechkin who has always almost turned to either win it or at least be very close and I think he would just miss out on it. He's still the best goal scorer in the league, but that doesn't always mean you're guaranteed to score the most goals, but he'll be up there for sure. The other runner up for me is Con Connor McDavid. He's my Art Ross Trophy winner and I think he will have another monster year and his goal scoring has gradually improved each year and I don't think he's going to slow down. And my dark horse is David Pasternak. The Bruins are really good and Pasternak plays on the first line which is one of the best in hockey with Marchand who's a 100 point player and Bergeron who is one of the best centers in the league. For the Norris Trophy, I have Victor Hedman as the winner. To me, he is the best defenseman in the league, and when he gets to stay injury free, he really shows that he is the best, like he did in 2018 when he won the Norris. He's just amazing. My runner ups are Eric Carlson and Morgan Riley. If Carlson gets to stay injury free, he's going to give Hedman a real run for his money, and it's going to be a real close race, and Morgan Riley will just rack up the points with the Leafs, and the Wards tend to like when the defenseman gets lots of points. My dark horse is Seth Jones. It wouldn't be too shocking if he won the Norris, but the Jackets got significant significantly worse during the offseason, but Jones is still an amazing defenseman. For the Vesna Trophy, which is the hardest to predict for me, is Andrei Vasilevsky. Yeah, back-to-back -back wins for the Vesna Trophy is rare. The last cold thing to do it was a certain Dominic Hasek when he won it three times in a row between 1997 and 1999, but I think Tampa are going to bounce back after that awful playoff performance, and Vasilevsky will be a key part in that. My runner-ups are Carey Price and Sergei Bobrovsky. Price is due for bounce-back season, and he did look amazing in some parts of last season, and Bobrovsky will want to prove himself in Florida. My dark horse is John Gibson. He's already an elite goaltender, but he doesn't seem to get as much recognition as he plays in Anaheim. Their team isn't that good and the market isn't that big but he's good enough to challenge for it. The Calder Trophy is the category that is most open to me. We have lots of amazing rookies coming into this NHL season but I ended up going with Kale McCarr from Colorado. He's just amazing, he's going to play for a very good team and I would say he can get as much as 50 points, he's that good. And for defenseman getting 50 points, you probably have a pretty good chance of winning the Calder. My runner-ups are the two first picks from 2019 draft, Jack Hughes and Capo Caco. They're pretty much on the same level and will both have great seasons. For my dark horse, I was gonna say Nikita Gusev, but unfortunately he's not eligible as he's too old, thanks to the Sergei Makarov rule. So, instead I went with Cody Glass of the Vegas Golden Knights. For the Ted Lindsay Award, I don't think it's anyone surprised that it's Connor McDavid. He's just simply the most outstanding player. My runner-ups are Sidney Crosby and Nathan McKinnon. Yeah, just like my hard trophy predictions, 
but these are the three best players in the league. And the only players outside this top three I can see challenge are Nikita Kucherov and Patrick Kane. And for my dark horse, it's a tough one because out of these five players I just mentioned, I don't see anyone really challenge. But I went with Steven Stamkos. If he can keep producing and get over 100 points, he might be in the discussion. But I think Conor McDavid is just a runaway winner for me. So those are my predictions. Remember, they're just my opinions and they're not facts. And I'm probably going to be wrong about most of them. But it's a fun thing to do and I would love to hear your predictions as well. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, thank you for watching and take care.